Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler. Welcome back to RimWorld. Just notice that Kaya is, you know, on construction duty now instead of uh, sewing. And the first project she chose to do on her own was to get the floor done in the in the tailoring room here. I can tell she was pretty uh, pretty tired of, of dealing with it herself when she was working in here. But yeah, she's got her priorities, and so do the rest of us. We've got another herd that has popped in that we're going to take advantage of here at the very beginning. So I've already got a whole bunch of them selected to uh, show up over here. I need to add two more, Radar and Diamond. Both of them are ready to go, whereas others are crowding into the dining room and or, or not. Well, they're supposed to be eating and on the way up there. Maybe they are already. Tomislav's going up. Rabbit's on his way up. Yeah, I'm going to say who we are. So Diamond... Why don't you, after you're done wearing your steel helmet, okay, Radar, let's work on you. Making a toque. Let's do that. Yeah, so you're in there working. Let's get you assigned to here. And Diamond, did you get, you did. Got yourself a helmet, and you're playing chess. No, 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 no. You're going to come up here and shoot deers. Okay, pop up in there. But, and I'll pause here a second so I can talk without interruption. But uh, Radar wrote in with an idea. We're trying to figure out how to deal with the power here. We're using more watts than we're making right now. We want to get two more of the sun lamps up and running. But to do that, we threw in this extra one over here and it's hooked up, right? Yeah, it's hooked up. But, and this one is hooked up. Yeah, we're, we're showing all the way through, but it's still not enough. So my thought is to tap into this last vent over here and get this one going. Is I'm pretty sure the roadblock right now is right here. We're not finding and making components fast enough. Speaking of that, Natalia, you uh, yeah, gotta let you go. You're gonna you're gonna go crazy on me. Um, what I want to figure out, and I kind of went through some math yesterday, but it was hurting my head, so I stopped. But of the there's some homework for you guys if you want to want to do something production power of the possible generators let me verify something because i noticed that the wood fire generator uses if you look over here uses two components and the chem fuel uses three components yet wood generates a thousand and chem generates a thousand so it costs more components to make the chem fuel ones than the wood ones we have lots of chem fuel. We don't seem to be overwhelming, you know, our our supply at all. Our supply meaning these guys right here. So we yeah we we, we milk male boomalopes for for chem fuel. Anyway, um, so these cost more components to make. Now if you take this for 24 hours, so this makes 24,000 watts. Is that right? we'll say that's right <laughs> this runs for i think it's 6 a.m to 6 p.m at full 100 percent of 1700 watts plus from 4 a.m to 6 a.m it ramps up and from 6 a.m to 8 p.m it ramps down so if you take those two together two triangles cross them over we'll say that's a total of two hours more so we got 14 hours a day at 1700 watts versus 24 hours a day at 1,000 watts, these guys require three components to make. And then you've got to get into the wind power, but I don't know how to determine for your two components how many watts you're going to get per day because it's so random how much wind you're going to get. I think that depends on what part of the world you drop into. You know, it's weather and, and whatnot. It's whether wind is the best option for you in this temperate zone or not. And then you get into eight components to build one of these guys, but it's making 3,600 watts 24-7. So what is the best use of our components for a power source versus how long per day they work and how dependable they are or how reliable the fuel source is to keep it going to make us sufficient here for power? Those are the, those are the things I, I, I lay awake at night thinking about. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys lose some sleep over it. I'm too busy to be doing that now. But Radar was talking about the idea of splitting off this whole area. Let these guys run these guys. 
And if you do the math there, of course, we complicate things with all of these uh, auto doors of 50 watts each. But if you ignored that, four of these guys at 3,600 watts each is 14,400 watts. Five of these guys is almost the same, 14,500 watts. That's so almost a balance. Throw some batteries in here. Maybe one more wood or chem fired generator to offset the doors and one more bulb meaning maybe a greenhouse right there around this rich soil and you've got an almost self-sufficient system right there at roughly 15,000 watts in and out so that is an interesting solution for this area we still have this guy to deal with and there's no way that these two are going to make enough to do it but we do have one last vent over here which could be brought in tapped into here the idea being let's not let the greenhouses shut down our manufacturing process all being on the same grid on the same side of the river but split it up into this area right here and this area right here so that's the thought i was i I stopped thinking about it when I realized, you know, if I wanted to connect all the greenhouses, I really needed to somehow get this system snuck down into here to grab this greenhouse here, cutting through our turret system. And we've got our two live turrets over here that are always running on purpose in case we ever get a, a, uh, a pirate or a mech drop right into the middle of the base, which I've had before, not on this playthrough, but, you know, they just drop right in and they start attacking immediately. So while we're scattering and trying to get out of the way and, and to safety, these two turrets could be, you know, laying into them and distracting them, giving us a chance to dive off in all directions and work our way out and around and back in the back door and, and setting up, grabbing these turrets over here and, and moving them into position right, you know, here and, and getting ready to shoot through and, and, you know, here and whatever. So that's kind of an insurance policy. That's why these are up and running all the time. Whereas the rest of these, we've got them on a switch. So these, these three or two over here, two over here are not running all the time, but these two are. Anyway, so power is an issue and something that needs to be thought about and figured out. I think the solution is one more generator here to assist this part and separating off this part with one more probably wood-fired generator packed into, I don't know, somewhere, protect it, and call this a self-sufficient system, adding that last greenhouse there, and we're pretty much done in this area for, uh, for you know, greenhouse food production, all that. Anyway, with that going, and with me being able to finish that talk without something dropping down, or, or these guys saying, uh, dude, we're, we're waiting, then, uh, you know, that's, that's, it's better for my brain. Anyway, we still have a minute or so waiting for the rest of them to get up there, at least enough to do any good. Anything over here? I haven't done much to the game since our last episode. I'm going to let the unpronounceable dude over here, the future gnarly, we'll go with that. Um, one more time, see if we can't convert him in naturally. And by the end of this episode, if it hasn't happened, because he's fairly easy. Uh, prisoner, 79%. 60s are better, but he's certainly not a 99. So, if we can do it naturally, we'll do it. If not, then before next episode, I'll go ahead and, and just uh, you know, dev tool him into the game and we'll get our last character going and still a lot of episodes left to, to enjoy watching the character. Let's go with these guys right now. There may be more on their way. Yeah, there may be not. That may be all of them. Okay. To take out... There's two in this area, then there's a, a herd over there. Why am I not seeing them? I thought they were right in there. Let's look a little closer. There were two Ibex in this area. We're getting cold, so I don't know at what point they're going to start wandering off the map and be gone. Here they are. So all of you guys crowd into about here. Ah, there. A little more distance in between. I'll go with you first. Shoot. Well, the other one, Catherine's on her way in. That was quick. Shoot. Okay. Let's all of you take this one out. Okay, those two are done. Okay, all of you guys head over to this area. Um, oh, that wall. Oh, that wall. 
Yeah, that wall drives me nuts. Come on down to this area. We'll kind of shoot in and around and maybe actually right there. Maybe we can shoot both sides of the wall and see how that works. Problem is these guys can revenge on us and I can get... We, we did that once a long time ago with a herd right over here. Man, they kicked our butts. We had to rescue... We had rescue colonists that time. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> like a noob mistake. Um, that doesn't work. So let's do that and we'll fire. No, not fire at will. We will attack right there. So those few who can. Now, fire at there. Get Add a few more in. Okay, that's just not working. All right, so everybody move into... Oh, this wall drives me nuts. Let's move into here. And we'll just have to try to make this work. Okay, one more time. Take him out. Good. So far, so good. Okay. Can you shoot this one? You can. Okay, that worked. Everybody to here. Before they get away. That's good there. Take that one out. Doe Revenge has begun. Just the one? Just the one. Okay. Let's go after this buck then. Okay. And the last one. Can't quite get there. Let's go a little bit further in. Nope. We're going to have to go over all the way. Okay. Or there is good because it's coming toward us right now. Perfect. Probably get a squirrel as well. Nope. And who's in here? Michael is in here. So, Michael, you can hunt this one. And haul that one in. And the rest of you, there's no Natalia here. Okay. That's everybody there. Did I lose anybody? I, the meeting point was there. I think we're good. Okay. Why don't you guys all come down? And I know there was a raccoon to deal with. Man, where did you go to? I thought you'd be right here. Ah, you're right there, eating dandelions at the edge. There's the raccoon, but there's also a... Right there, an ostrich, which has a good quantity of meat. Anything else? I need another pack of muffalo that just wandered in like last time. No, not going to be that lucky. Hate to have everybody go all the way down here to shoot a uh, uh, an ostrich to come all the way back here and haul these bodies. So let's not do that. Best shots can go down there. Um, yeah, I don't know anymore. Let's go this route. Shooting 13 for Tomislav. Sangria is an 8. Cathra is a 9. Radar is a 9. Shantigo is a 10. Diamond is an 11. And Rabbit is a 15. So Rabbit, Diamond, Tomislav. We'll do that. Okay, I think. Otherwise... We'll do this, and you can... Oh, there's another one downed. Okay. Then, Michael, you're going after that one. This one, Hunt, and who best? Sangria, why don't you hunt that one, bring that one in. Okay, that one's done, that one's done. The rest of these, do this, and let's get a Shantigo to haul there, a Radar to haul there, a Cathra to haul, Rescue to hall there, and I guess of these, Diamond was 11, Tomislav was a 13, yeah, so Diamond, you can, or which, this one, Hunt, Diamond, Break, and, did I do that wrong, no, Rescue only, Clear, Hunt, Diamond, there you go. Okay. So with that, you two are going to come down and take out an ostrich. And we've got one. Actually, we got two more up here to haul out. Well, we have so many people set to hauling. I'm sure they're going to make the run. So let's come over here and take out the raccoon. And then we will take out the ostrich and we'll call that done. Dover Van just finished. Oh, it went away on its own, too. Break risk of rabbit and grandma. So rabbit is here. Why are you breaking on me? Uh, needs... Oh, you didn't get the meal that I asked you to get. 
Darn, I didn't hit the shift or something. Gear, you don't have a meal on you. Tomislav, you got a meal? You don't have a meal. Ouch. Okay, Michael, got a meal? Sangria? Sangria's got, no, she's got kibble. Shantigo, nope. Diamond, you have a simple meal. I'll take it. Thank you. Do that. Mm, you're consuming it. No, 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 no. Can you now haul this? Thank you. And I guess we're going to have to get um, Rabbit to come over here and consume <laughs> before he breaks on me. So, Tomislav, it's all you. Can you fire it and take him out before he hits you? Let's go a little further away. Before he comes at you like a rabid dog. Fire at. Oh, he's not choosing to... Very good. Okay. So that's there. Let's get. Oh, I guess just get you down. Hey, Klaus, come on over and give me a hand here. Thank you. Come on over here. And Tomislav, over here. And in that case, Rabbit, when you're done, where'd you go? Let's have you then consume. No. There, that'll work. Hold that one. All right. So you're going to do that. These two are going to take care of this one. These one, two. There you are. Thomas Love. Klaus. Come on into this area. <laughs> take this one out. Nope. He's running at us. Got to go over here now. <laughs> Up here. Up there. Nope. He's running away now. Well, go over here. All right. That'll work. Okay, and just do it again. There. Okay. Klaus, if I were to do that, you're going to consume a meal. Right here. Tomislav, you are going to haul him in and then go grab a meal. Okay. I'm thinking this is the last episode for hauling. We still have a lot of people set for it. We're going to get the last of this stuff in. There's still a bunch of wood up in this area, which the pigs are starting to bring in. There's another raccoon. And gone through and cleared out a lot of the uh, what was planted in here. Is this set to not... No, it's set for plow... Or for sowing. They have not... Well, they started to work on it. Okay. But I'd say we're finally getting to the point to where most of the hauling has been done finally and how are we looking in here ah that's getting closer to what i had imagined this to look like yeah though we're still not butchering fast enough so we're empty over here so when we run out of meat we can't make meals so whoever is set to cook will then start butchering and that works out fine um only a little bug meat left okay because they are using it here exclusively or as well as i don't remember we're set for raw food, meat, and bug meat. Yeah, it's, it's all of it. So randomly, they're going to take out some of this too. Especially now when there's nothing but. So they'll definitely consume it all then. All right, so with that, what is next? Um, nothing down on my notes. Just kind of waiting to see what's going to uh, what's gonna happen to us. Need to get this bedroom done. And probably another one done for Gnarly when he joins. Otherwise, I do have one last unused bedroom sitting over here. Okay. Uh, Radar is still consuming a... F yeah, that was Rabbit that ate up there. So he's going to grab a meal out of here, which has been restocked. Good. Otherwise, we've got some last-minute sewing to do to see if we can get some more trees in. And think about this area. So I think that is the plan. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to split off this area here. So I need eight components to build one more of these to help supplement power in this area right through here. Because I'm pretty sure these worked out to be the best per component needed to build for the daily amount of power that it will create. You just have to have the technology and the steam vent available. That is our last one, right? Oh, there's one more hiding up in there. Oh, oh, oh. There's more wandering in. Too late, though. Though that we could just set for a normal hunting expedition. I don't think an alpaca is going to...
do much damage. There's a turkey over there. It'd be nice to get. Anything down here? No. Nope. Any of the vents, though? That's what I was looking for. I think that finishes off our supply of power. That one is it. Okay. So if we were to pop one onto here and wire that in to where? Down through this pathway? Don't know. I guess just through this. Something like that. So let's think about that. Um, marble is what we seem to have the most of, so let's grab some marble walls. Seal this in. Mental break. Hide in room. Huh? Mental break. Who broke and why? Diamond. I'll have to go back and look at that. I didn't get the sense that there was a, a um, you know, a break risk going on that was, you know, red flagged. Let me get out of this. Jump to, and Shantiko, Grandma, Bill, Kaya, and Faith are all in poor moods. You know, the the first stage of a mental break. But there was no red over here on the side that I noticed. So she broke from the the lowest stage, if I'm correct. She though is needs yeah she was just barely down there and, and really just started too she was uh, pretty sure it was in good shape while we were hunting so that's one of those few cases to where you know theoretically you have so many 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 hours game hours available from this mood point before they're going to break now there's a chance in other words the chance is pretty small but she didn't last long so you know roll the dice and She's gonna, she's gonna go s spend some time in her room and and uh, get a little vacation, I guess. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. But she right now is wandering. Okay. Okay. Well, as mental state breaks and berserks and whatnot go, hide in bedroom is definitely one of the best ones. One of the the least chances of uh, of you know breaking while enemies are about and go wandering out amongst them and whatever else they uh, they're capable of you know randomly anyway i feel like i am rambling it's been a long day and it's warm in here i got 85 degrees in this studio makes it kind of hard to concentrate power's doing okay over on this side we don't have anybody waiting for us to call it now okay nothing like that going on a lot of uh well, you guys are watching TV, aren't you? Yeah, a lot of TV watching going on here. There, uh, you're playing chess. Kathra just finished 2100. Just trying to figure out what to do right now. We need to finish this. I wonder if I should just... What kind of numbers have we got over here? Just assign it and get it done. Could do that. It's 2200. Who doesn't truly need to go to bed right now? His mood is through the roof. Whoa. Uh, rest, though, is a problem, but he can handle not uh, having some rest. Okay. So, Thomas Saab, come over here and get 75 of these. Reserve hauling huck. Okay. Double strand, 11. 75. It's a good chunk of this right here. Okay. Andy, you actually have some time ahead of you. You're hauling wood, which means you're where? Oh, you're, you're not too far away. Okay. So, come on over here and... When you're done with that, haul this area. And rabbit, you really need to rest right now. And you already are. Okay. So, Shantigo, you are on your way, which means you're on the far side of the of the base here. Um, hauling double strand. So, Klaus, <clears throat> oh, you're, you're finishing a job right now. Okay. So, let's get you to come back and do one more. You've still got plenty of time, plenty of, of mood there. So, come on over and grab from this end. And to see where you can find 75s. So and we'll get somebody else, probably right here in the middle, grab another big group. And that should be most of it right there. Then maybe we can set everybody back to, uh, to normal. You're not too far away, actually. Yeah. You'll find your way across. So, Sangria, you grab this one. Reserved by Killer. 
Hmm. I'm just going to throw you in the middle. See what you can gather up. Okay. So that takes care of the Devil Strand. So during the night, during their night, Eric, what were you doing? Resting. Let's get everybody back to their normal routines. So there tomorrow, they can uh, begin working like normal again. How best to do that? I had done it by clicking on grow. These six best, seven best growers, I exempted and started the hauling from there. Okay, so Bill would normally have been what? He's, ten, he's already set for grow, so after that he... Oh, I'm going to have to kind of scratch my head and figure this out from the beginning again. He probably would have been doing some block cutting. That's a two. If I just take you to a two, what do we get? We get plant cutting and growing. And then we get into crafting, which is block cutting. You don't qualify for the components. That's an eight. So then you'll drop back into hauling as your backup. I think that works. I think that works. Daniel, you take you you were actually set for hauling you were our generator filler and all that sort of thing so we'll maintain that for now when there isn't hauling you'll drop into wardening as a nine handling as a ten hunting hmm let's set you to hunting for a while I think so and because we've had so much hauling going on, I'm sure all the generators are all topped off and, and all that. I'll put you back on hauling full time a little bit later. Tomislav, take you off of hauling. You go into research. Otherwise, growing. 8 of 20. Passion? You do have a passion for it. Okay, that'll work. Klaus, you off of hauling drops you back into construction. And growing as a backup. You're 8 out of 20. And then plant cut. Okay, I think that works. You'll automatically do your wardening first anyway. Um, we're done with that disease, so let's take all of these back into. Now, Tomislav, you'll stay a 2. And this is a different order, so i got to figure out what happened to Natalia here. Eric, Diamond. Natalia, leave you a two. Okay. Uh, compacted steel. Oh, Sea Stars is off over here running. Okay. Well, then we've got some, some goodness over here. Let's do that and maybe that. We'll see where that goes. Okay. Um, whatever happened over here? So you got this done. We found some more in this area. Okay. So while they're continuing to do their thing, what can we leave as a good background. There's nothing going on up over here. So we'll just leave this in the background. Let's go back to work schedule. And we got to Klaus hauling. Oath Knight. Off of hauling, you should drop into handling and cooking was what you were up to at the, at the time. So you would handle during the daytime hours, you know, early evening and, and uh, early morning, late evening and early morning, and then nighttime you would cook. And that worked out really well. Okay, so Klaus, you are done. Yeah, handy. Here we go. You're off of hauling. I'll take that to back to a two, I think. That we may have to adjust some of these twos, and I put you back into construction first. What just changed? I feel like something just shifted in there, but maybe that was my imagination. Shantigo, you're off of hauling. You drop right back into cooking. That's correct. Okay down into here Billy off of hauling which drops you into smithing seven so we got to take your art up to get you back into art okay and radar off of there you're gonna drop into tailoring and into crafting there it is my columns are a little off for me I'm, I'm kind of crooked to the screen um, who do we want to do some smithing? Let's grab a trail just for a second. Natalia's good at it. Kaya's good at it. Has, I don't see a passion in there, so no passion for it. So the first passion is Vliss. 
you know, I'm going to do that. Let's get into more. Of, well, there's components, though. That's why I shut it down. Yeah, each of those uh, armored vests and whatnot are expensive. Okay, out of smithing. Back into growing, and we got down to here. So uh, that is diamond. You're going to go back into... Oh, that was cleaning. Hauling's over here, bliss. So turning off your hauling, you drop right back into smithing, tailoring. That's what I want. Okay, tailoring, and then drop into crafting. All right, and then if all that all else fails there, you drop into construction, which you're good at. And radar is kind of the same plan. So radar, you are first tailoring, and then crafting, and then handling. Oh, you're a 10 at it, so yeah, handling before the other. Okay, got an autosave going on in the background. I see we're starting to wake up. Down here, hauling David. Turn that off, and you drop into construction, which you're good at. Okay, and then Cyprian. Off on hauling, which gives you cleaning. I want to get you in, back into art. So we'll go there, and you drop into cleaning, uh, cleaning after that. And Natalia never did hauling anyway, so there was nothing to fix there. And wow, that took the entire night just to reassign orders. Hope nothing bad happened in the background. Bill completed making sculpture. Uh, okay. Where did the sculpture go? Apparently it wasn't a good one. It got just tossed down into here somewhere. Gardner's no longer inspired. Oh, so uh, Manuela had a go frenzy in between episodes. Any sculptures in here? Nothing there. So there was a work of art made that got dumped somewhere. If you can see it, well, I can't. Now, there'd be something like the chair, but it'd be, you know, in a box. I don't see it. I have no way to click on something or... Oh, oh, oh there's something. Okay. You were what? Billy made expression for sea stars. Let's pause a second here. Normal. So, 100 beauty. And it said what? On this work is a representation of a solitary secretary. The work suggests the concept of confinement, and there is an emu in the right of the main scene. Yeah, it's not specific enough for us. Sea stars is in the name, but it's not really describing anything. So, yeah, we'll let that one go and sell it. Who did I assign to hunt? I want to say it was Daniel. Right there. Minor break grandma. So, you are taking that one out and leave it there. Let a pig or something haul it in. Come on up in here and take out this alpaca for me. Your needs are okay. And there's good meat right there. Hunt that one. And Daniel... Oh, Diamond's got a little little electric volt sitting next to her. She's still uh, spooked out or something. Daniel, come on over here and hunt this alpaca. Anything else big pop in? Like, you know, a grizzly bear right next to the alpaca? No, we look okay. Let's go check up on Diamond and see if she's uh, going to make it. Over here, don't see any other herds that have popped in. Okay, Diamond, you're hiding in your bedroom. You need... I think you're going to have to get to the, the bottom of everything. You're feeling great, but you're urgently hungry. You're very tired. You're insulted. You're sick. You're uncomfortable. What's sick? Oh, we still have to wipe out the last countdown of these guys. So, malaria, developed immunity, 11%. Is that going to count up to 100 yet? I don't know. Compact machinery. Ooh, must be. Good find. Okay, let's grab a square out of here and see if that's enough. Well, about to find out. Yep, it dies right there. Where are you going? Playing poker? You don't need to play poker. Come on over here. And there isn't one right there. Interesting. Cancel. So, where does it go from there? Is it just one? Yeah, we'll hang here for... Well, will we? Kind of count down. So, we're dropping 80 at a time. Hmm. Well, we're almost halfway there. Otherwise, anything else show up in here? Yeah, let's grab these real quick. So, you're there. You're there. Almost. 
Okay, this is all... No, 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 no. You, you really don't need to. You can continue here. <laughs> okay, where else do I need to mark here? I'm seeing a dark line right there. Okay, so you and... Now we'll wait to see if there's anything more in there. You are determined that your joy of 94% is not enough. We just got to get to the 10 o'clock hour. Let's have you do that and see if that carries you. Yep, there it is. You won't be needing to do it anymore. Okay, so with that, what have we got? What are we about 35 minutes into this? Okay. Whoa, I felt like the screen shook as I stopped moving. Maybe not. Um, yeah, uh, Daniel, what happened over here? You took out a rat. Um, what happened to our alpaca? Did I click on the wrong thing, really? <laughs> we'll let, uh, We'll let a, a pig or something come after the rat. You're trying your best through all these little alpaca revenge. Run, run! Oh, you got him! All right, nice when it works that way, rather than having Daniel on the ground with an alpaca kicking him in the head over and over again. <laughs> Hate when that happens. Anyway, risk. Shantigo and Miss a P. So Shantigo is what? Just not feeling good and uncomfortable and he's having to slosh through the water and and a generator just went down and oh man, more components gone. What do we have left here? So we've got eleven. I think we need to get working on this and get at least those eight of them committed to it. So let's, well, chop might get all of these. Actually it did, okay. In fact, let's chop from there to there, get all of those out of there. And I need to get somebody over here to do that. And that would be Manuela. What are you looking like right now? Look at that. Oh, oh, did you say chop? You say chop? Oh, I like chopping trees. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got this one. <laughs> um, so we need to grab that one we need to supplement these four if we're going to put in a fifth one right here if we wait till next winter to do that to make a greenhouse out of the turtle then we don't have to worry about it right now which means we just need a bank of batteries over here and it's ready it's going to be a waste of a little bit of power but it's ready unless we leave a leg and leave some of this connected to it to take up some of that excess and split it like right here. Hmm. Possible, though it, it would require a lot of reworking of the system. Never did get it all connected anyway. So it would mean snipping all this loose and getting a new source of power out to this perimeter. So running down is everything from this point is is switched so we'd have to run and that would be cut off so we'd have to yeah it's it's not that easy you gotta, you gotta stare at this for a while and figure out how best to split and re reattach legs here and there and try to even out all the power sources and predict what you know what wind we're going to have that's the problem with the, the the wind turbines they're just they're too unpredictable oath knight you are Harvesting, okay. So with that, I can get an Eric or a Handy or someone to begin the process of hauling over parts. Well, let's let Oath and I take out this last one. You got it? You don't got it. Can you do that? Thank you. Then, Handy. Exhaustion. Diamond. Oh, okay. Yeah, you'll finally collapse and then... You'll be as happy as can be with your euphoria that's going to take over. Oath Knight, where'd you go? Right over here. Done. Oh, okay. Fine. Sure. Why don't you haul all these things off to the side? Perfect. Good job. Clear the workspace. And now I'll give it to somebody else who likes to, uh, who's really good at construction. So, Handy, you are consuming a fine meal, then you're going to be good for a long time. So, after you do that, right click doesn't work because Oath Knight's in it. There, now we got it. Come out here and and uh, start the process. Get that one built, and we need to get power in there. So let's 
And we need to do all this realizing that we haven't had a raid in a really long time. So at any point, they could just drop in on us. So we need to kind of plan where we're going to be when that dropping happens. That's not what I wanted. I wanted right there. Okay. You. There. Cancel. Alright, so you're going to... Oh. <laughs> okay. So, plan B. Let's sneak down and over. Okay. And I'm going to take out all of these trees. Are they... Nope, they, they do have to cut them down to put it underneath. That's right. Now, where are we going with this? I mean, we're tapping back into this loop again. But I guess we are. I'm going to shoot through. How best? Through like this, up, and over like that. All right. Or we could just, you know, chop these down, make a nice straight run. But ah. then I would want sandbags over the top. But we'll go with this for now. We won't protect it at this point. We just get it built. Okay. So in that case, we could get then Tomislav to haul over a big pile of steel and fill in this area. We could get... Let me pause a second. We're running out of day. We're at 1,700. Um, Klaus. Steel to vitals monitor. Oh, yes. Good job. I forgot about those. That's got to get done. And we've got to get those two bedrooms done, too. So I might work a little bit on that through the night or through in between episodes. We'll see. Sangria, Cathra, the next construction is Eric. Consuming a fine meal. You are, you still have some time left. When your fine meal is done, you can bring over. So you're going to there. You can bring over um, enough steel to work on conduit over there. David is asleep, but he could be getting up right now. Sure, go on over and bring steel over to that area. Then we have a radar. Actually, we have a Kaya in here. That's right, i got to get used to her being construction. So Kaya, that's tougher because we got to chop all the trees down. You fill in this area here, and let's set these guys for chop, which in this case means cut. Uh, cut plants, because some of these are... I guess I can still do that, but these have definitely got to go, and they're not mature enough. And we got to cut these two. You got to get out of there. Is that enough? Well, let's take those out, and let's take out the trees that are close to it, so they don't spawn new trees into it as fast as we uh, clear it all out. And there's one hiding in there. Okay, that takes care of that. So then we've got a radar. Hello. Oh, thanks, Daniel. Um, okay. Um, okay. Coordinate this well, folks. Okay. Faith's going to run through there, too. Where are you guys going? Ah, you're cutting trees, and you're just... You're sowing trees. Oh, good. That's, that's good. So, you got your, your bunny. Good job. Hello, Boomalopes. Oh, we need rain now. We need rain. And I don't think I want to do it without the rain. We spent so much time putting out the fires, and then we burn up half our boomalopes. So that wasn't the best plan the last time we did that. But it hasn't rained in a long time. You know how I know? Because of the evidence of whole-scale slaughter all over the map. <laughs> we need some rain. It cleans the map up. But I'm not seeing any other big herds, just the boomalopes. I think we're going to let them be. I just have to make sure that uh, Daniel doesn't get into the uh, the middle of them going after a turtle or something. Um, raccoon over here. Okay. So 40 some minutes into this. What else has to be done this night? Da David, when you're done doing that, why don't you come over and grab a meal? You can eat it over in this dining room. It's still the better one. Though what I'd really like to see done. Yeah, I really would. Hmm. Let's get you over here. Eat a meal. And then I was going to say start building a bedroom, but... Oh. <laughs> I clicked that and this came up. But we've been so long needing this dining room to spruce up by smoothing it out. I think it's time we just need to get that done. Okay. Long range mineral scanner is in. All right, let's do this and pause. And let's go ahead and run through the easiest of the ship mechanics. We don't have a computer core. 
uh, AI core. We haven't needed one. Hmm. Okay. Well, if anything else, I'm not convinced we're going to build the ship. It wasn't the plan originally. Whether we want to build the ship and let certain ones choose if they want to fly away and the rest of them, like the, the core five right here that came to stay intentionally, wouldn't want to, but some of the others may want to. So that could be the way we finish it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much more time I'm going to have for the series. I'm doing my best to commit to 200 episodes, but we'll see. I've got a, got a real busy summer ahead of me. Um... What else? Multi-barreled weapon. Would that give us the chain shotgun? Does it tell me? It doesn't necessarily say. Okay. Multi-barrel weapons. I know it's a minigun. Okay, so what else? Where are the rest of the weapons? Gunsmithing. That is the pump shotgun. So blowback operation would be the automatic stuff gas operation there's the chain shotguns we already can make it if we choose to okay so that's not an issue so i do want to build one of these for gnarly uh a chain shotgun i wonder how many components that takes i still gotta figure out what you guys you know look back at that list and let me know what you think is our next priority i'm not sure it's right here it could be you know leave some thoughts on that and whether we want to devote a large portion of the rest of the uh, of the series to this. And we might. There may be some of you have never seen the ship. So we, maybe we could do that. Um, otherwise, if not here, in fact, I'll turn that on. If not there, then what else here is truly important? We've gotten by with without any of these, and we're, we're doing just fine. So I'm not seeing even the shield belts. What we've got has been more than enough. And what we've been stealing off of others. So... I think we're good. I'm not going to use hydroponics. We couldn't afford it anyway. So I think that is what's left for us. But give me your thoughts on that. But I was going to go check on something. Oh, how many components does it take to make a chain shotgun? And you are over here, right? Bill? Chain shotgun. So let's go ahead and add it in and just look at it. You're down here, and so we've got some more armor vests, some more helmets, disassemble mechanoids, and a couple more assault rifles in the queue so far. So you require what? Details, five components, and 70 steel, and 750 work. Wow. Okay, so nobody is assigned to this bench anyway, so we don't have to worry about somebody building it. But, well, 14 now. Oh, we found some down there. That's right. Um, let's peek at that real quick. Sea Star, no, um, not Sea Stars. Uh, Miss P found this one. Okay, so somebody will wander down here and get this one. I didn't ask her to come down here, so she was able to do that on her own anyway. Um, is there a reason to finish this? There could still be something in there. Hmm. Well, yeah, we'll leave it. Yeah, it's there. There are some surprises still hiding in here, so we'll do that. Never did put one in there. Wonder why. Anyway, oh, I know. I also wanted to get rid of these so we can stop venting our heat into unused parts of the base. Those are in by accident, so it's they won't do any deconstruction until there's no more construction to do. So I have to just remember to manually send somebody down there and get the job done. Um. So we're cutting trees, we're planting trees. This must be the last major sowing area. And we're done. Starvation, that's Diamond. Oh, poor Diamond. And 12th of September. So winter officially starts in three days. Getting the last of the trees planted in here. Good. That's working out just fine. So you guys are doing all this. David's going to take off and do the work that I asked him to do over here. Which was starting to smooth. So after the episode's done, I'll assign him to do a bunch of smoothing, at least, say, in this half right here. We'll do this one half at a time and get somebody else to quickly build these two, and that'll be done, maybe these two. And that'll give us a rating in here beyond just slightly impressive, but get a little close to the, uh, the very, very impressive that this one is rated at so that it doesn't matter which one I send them to if they're in a bad mood. But with that, I think I'm going to call this one done. I don't think there's anything else 
that we talked about we didn't get to. What are you? You're a bunch of squirrels and turtles. Okay. Nothing else popped in. Just the boomalopes. And I guess we're good. So, it's been Noble Rambler. I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.